Hey, how's it going? This is the trailer build from episode 30 of The Career Story. We're going to cut to the past and show you the original build, and then we're going to show you some of the extra things I did to the trailer, and then it should be all finished. What I need to do is separate off another grid so that I can build, and I'm going to build on white because I like to build on white. Get a track. So this track will go the, the whole length of the boat. Probably like that far, right? Where's the grippers? Yeah. This very first one doesn't need to be anything because the grippers don't go that far. And it needs to end here because it needs to let the thing hang off the back. The engine, the propeller needs to hang off the back. So yeah, I'll, I'll space out that, I think. And then if I find out where the very tip of it is, I basically need to like cut the boat now and put the whole track system like slightly below it. Okay, I want to have the boat above it so that I can see where the wedges go. So there's this one block and then it wedges up. What is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then it pokes out. And then it wedges up again. So this, this here is my silhouette. And then I guess it goes up like this. Do I want to be real specific to this shape or do I want to make it so I can put any kind of boat on here? I think if it's specific to this shape, it makes things maybe a bit. Ugh, what do you think? It'll make it easier to load this boat, I reckon. This is 20 long, so let's say 19, let's say 10, and then let's say 9. <laughs> and I'll bring the back in, so it'll be gaps of 9. I don't mind having a little bit of an overhang at the back there. Oh, it's a uh, three. I kind of want this angle to be one consistent piece so I might just do that and Ooh, how do I stop it from coming too far forwards though it's like I need a stopper or something in here like something like this I mean, that gives it the thing to hang over. I still need a winch as well, which probably will go at the very, very top here. Like, uh, okay. It's real weird how the winch connects. Probably like that, so this whole beam will become thicker. I wonder if this should all become thicker then as well. I kind of don't like that. I do not really like it. What if it's like this? Now oh, that's weird.
Okay, well, anyway, I need to figure out how to make this a trailer now. So, next thing to do is get a trailer. And the right trailer for this job is one of these ones. Because this tells me where the wheel position is and where the electrical connector position probably is. This thing here. Okay, so all I really want to know is where these wheels are in terms of um, ground clearance. Like if I go down like this to give myself ground clearance, then where does this electrical connector meet up? Hmm, I don't know what that, there must be an invisible block in the middle here. I think I'm going to have smaller wheels on this anyway, and I might do two wheels, two axles. I don't think it needs these big wheels. It's going to tilt back a little bit because let me paste this in here and then there's a whole bunch of invisible blocks there. So if I get a normal wheel, a non-suspension 3x wheel, it's obviously way too small for this. I think I might have to take this wheel and maybe scale it down a little bit so i think i want to keep these suspension pieces but i need to probably cut that because the dual axle is i mean i've never seen a boat trailer of this size with a dual axle on it I think I'll probably move this wheel forwards a bit, give them a bit of space, and I don't think it needs to be all the way back, probably like that. I don't know, I'm just sort of making it up. How do I want to make my suspension? It's obviously fake suspension, but I think it's, it's nice to use the same kind of components across all your vehicles, all your trailers. If there is consistency, then your things will look their best. So for this, I probably need like a longer barrel. Actually, I can put two barrels, can't I? Yeah. Two barrels probably is all right. And then megaphones for suspension. Um, it's got to be like a, a sideways suspension. I'm not sure what they're called. This is like an airbag piece. That's what I think the generators look like, a little airbag. These end effectors look like little um, piston things. I think I need to bring these across, actually. Wait, how wide is this thing? Because I think that trailer might have been an extra wide trailer. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. The axle's way wider. This is 11, which is truck width. So these axles are extra wide. They need to come in. Oop. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use an xml barrel through the middle there. I want to use the speaker. Maybe I can do it that way, like that. And then it looks like it's maybe, uh, if it's over the wheel, Hmm. Wait, what if I move all these wheels so that this bar is directly in the middle? Like that. Yeah, that's heaps better. Hmm. I'm not really convinced about this. Gonna call it the rib trailer. And let's have a look. You know, the VS code. Air R H rib trailer. So we're looking for gun barrel. There should only be a couple barrels. And I'm gonna try two. Is this the oh there it is. Okay. It's made it fat. It's made it very fat. That is not it. Let's try another one. There we go. That's what I want. So it's the second value along number two, makes it a little bit longer. And there we go, we've got some long axles. I think there might 
yeah they're poking out a little bit into the gearbox but because it's stretched you don't really see it i'm not quite convinced about the placement of the generator or like any of it really it looks okay you know it's not the best but it's okay now another thing will be how do i stand this up like if i spawn that on its own it's just going to fall over so i will need a pivot in here somewhere and i think i'll do how do i want to do this because if i put it on the bottom like that then i can have it run along the very bottom of the track and we should still have enough ground clearance there uh, so i can make this piece invisible i'm going to get a gearbox i think yeah yeah i'm gonna get a gearbox i'm gonna rock it oh it's already on the ground that's kind of crap right that's that's like if i spawn this then it's gonna be like on the ground huh wait what the hell was that it was like in the tile and now it's up So if I rotate that up, then it's gonna drop down. I really wanted it to be able to give me extra height. I was thinking I could use a friction pad, go like that, but then if I'm already like one block, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not much. And it's not also not much ground clearance either. If I wanna, how am I gonna do this? I could have it so it runs down the angle here but i need to make sure i can connect this still which is at like that same height i think a lot of boats actually do this don't they a lot of trailers they come up like that and then the drawbar is like connected into that so what if actually these pieces came out again i don't think you would have these pieces like this There'd be no point. It wouldn't be touching anything. Then you wouldn't need all of this. And you could put the legs inside there somewhere. Mm, yeah, you wouldn't need this very front piece though. What would you want there? You would have maybe a closer wedge, I suppose, like that. Let me look at a boat trailer. Apparently a boa trailer is something for transporting tires. <laughs> okay, so none of these boat trailers actually have the things that go all the way up the sides. So all of this is a load of crap. Even the real low ones is probably a load of crap because it looks like they just come up like this and then they have little wheels. Which means that's crap, which means it would just do this. Uh, yeah, we just actually, I guess this one could come off here like that. They do have a stick, they do have a winch, they have little buffer things. Some of them they actually have two buffer things. These pieces come in and usually connect, yeah. But then there's a stick still, there's a stick like that, and then a thing like this, and then I guess you'd go electrical connector on there. Do you do it like that? Actually, a lot of them have a bit more of a stick, a bit of a sticky stick. Do a key so you can release it. Look at that. They do that, you know. But then that kind of implies that this should all be solid through here, which I don't want to use. I want to use pipes for that. Okay, it would need a battery. So can I just put a battery? Yeah, can I put one in the side? Like that. There you go. That's good. And then it would need an instrument panel for the winch. The thing at the front is very like fat now, isn't it? I'm just thinking, can I turn it into like two pieces? Like that, put some rope anchors somewhere. 
It doesn't need rope anchors, but I'm just thinking it could be nice if it's got some points where you could use a rope anchor for something. Maybe it just gives it a bit more detail, that's all. I think this weird sticky thing up the front is okay. Maybe I can get rid of this because I want to use pipes. I want to put XML pipes through the outsides of it. And then what if I use an XML pipe to give me the triangle shape as well? The other thing I need to get is my Subtat Trailer controller. Subtat Trailer. And modify the crap out of it. What have we got? We've got truck. Truck comp in. Uh, so cable. I'm not using a cable on this, so I'm just going to get rid of that thing, because I think that has a switch box or something get rid of this get rid of that one okay what's this trailer comp in this is to control your trailer legs and i guess it will need to control the winch um winch in the legs and i think there might be a brake override on here what have we got trailer legs up trailer legs down no this yeah this has to disconnect what is this for then Channel 2. Oh, I think it's a s just switching between whatever the brake signal from the truck is. And then... What am I doing? This is channel 2 on the instrument panel. So this is... This is where I would need to add my winch. So I need two signals for that. Um, trailer steering. I'm going to delete them from here because this is where I can get our stuff. There'll be no trailer steering. Uh, parking brake. Parking brake comes from the truck. Trailer brakes comes from the truck. Marker lights, reverse lights, brake lights, indicators. Oh man, I want all this stuff though. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I've got nine blocks worth of space along the sides where I can put something and I, can, I don't mind putting microcontrollers along the side of it. So let's go the trailer comp in which means the legs and the disconnect trailer can go. How much can I get onto one thing? I'll do all the indicators, I think. Left indicator. Well, uh, let's get... Blah, left, right. Brakes and brake light needs to go there. Blah, blah, blah together brakes trailer brakes that all needs to go together so we're left with needing to split this into two controllers which isn't bad if anything it's good so i'll i'll update that one take this copy it mirror it put it on the other side paste it copy it merge it blah blah blah, blah, blah. and now this one Get rid of all those and put the brake systems in. So this will be all the indicators need to go. Indicator, indicator, brake. Oh no, go back, go back, go back. How do I go back? I hate that there's no undo. Why is there no undo? You know, just stupid. Left indicator, right indicator, marker lights and reverse lights. I'm wondering if I need to put like a hard point on here somewhere that can lock the trailer, the boat onto it because I'm relying on the grippers here to stop the boat from sliding off the back. If I had a hard point, I need a hard point connector though. It's so bulky, man. Why don't they just give us miniaturized, a one block version of this? That'd be great. I could put it in here. Where am I going to put a hard point on the boat though? It has to go here, right? It has to be facing down. So this has to be somehow like that. But then this piece is going to impact into there. So that's not going to work. Other options are turn it sideways and then make my trailer real fat and ugly. Uh, use a electrical connector. Use a magnet. I want to use a hard point though. Options for a hard point. 
The other thing is the hard point could be the other way around. This could be in the boat. Then there's no way to release the boat from the trailer though. You have to release it from, you have to release the trailer from the boat. The boat's in control. Or you have a composite signal that goes into the boat and the boat reads that you've sent. Can you do that? Yeah, you could. Data received, data send. You could send a signal through this into the boat to tell the boat to release it. God damn, that's stupid. It would work though. So I think these tracks, these tracks would be more like for stabilizing. The hard point actually needs to come back because of the sizing. Okay, well, uh, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So we've got a hard point. We need to be able to push a button. Okay, on, on this. I need winch in, winch out, trailer legs. I, uh, I don't need disconnect trailer because I'm going to put it on the key. And then the other option is release boat. So we have winch up. Then uh, release, re re release boat. Flip switch. Flip switch? Yeah, flip switch will do. Winch down channel three and then channel four the trailer legs yeah and so what i'm going to do with these these are gonna go along here like that probably yeah a bit further back so yeah i'm gonna have to modify my boat a fair bit this can go back to there and then i can put a thing back in there and then i need another controller How many signals have I got here? Composite in? No, I've only got, I've got composite out. Then I've got two for the winch. Hold on a minute. Because this one, I'm sending channel four out signal. I can just connect it like that, I think. Maybe, hopefully. I'm not sure if that works, but if it does, that would be really good. Um, and then I need the, I need an out signal and then up, down, so I need a, a 1 by 4 basically. Um, yeah, and it has to be a 1 by 4 because if it were a 1 by... Okay, it could be a 1 by 3 if I wanted to like even this out. And then the other one is like a... Just a, a duplicate. So what I'm talking about is... Let me get rid of this. So this is the winch. We have the composite input, so winch panel. Then we have winch up, winch down, two outputs. These are push buttons, so that's actually really easy. They just go like this. Book and book, channel three. One goes up, three goes down. So I'm bringing in that signal and then sending this straight out into the winch. Oh wait, not that one. Winch down. Not that, okay. And then, and then, and then, so that's like the first three. That's one, two, three, yep. Then we have trailer legs, which is an a rotational output, which could go... Oh, wait, I'm kind of dumb, aren't I? This one here, we go... Trailer panel. The reason I'm putting the names in the descriptions is so when you look at the microcontrollers, you don't see the names. This is going to be trailer panel input. Then we have number output, which is trailer leg. There is only one leg. And the other one is... Wait, there is no other one. This one's easy. It's just a switch box. I think I put it on four. So zero is down, which means it should be zero when it is off. 
And when it is on, it should be one maybe. And let's hope I put that on channel four. It goes to there. Trailer legs, channel four. Leg, uh, only one leg. Let's connect the electricity. Um, I don't know if I need electricity to that thing. And then what I need also is the trailer inputs, data receive, go into these two controllers here. Then we should have trailer brakes, which goes to the variable brakes, variable brakes, brake lights, and parking brake goes to the brake brake. And then all this other stuff is lights. So I just want to see... Wow. What is up with this tile? There's just a hole in the floor here. Oh no, I fell in the floor. There you go. It doesn't really matter which way that folds. It's kind of just a in the way no matter what it does. I should probably put a rope somewhere in here. Uh, be really good if it was there. That's a nice place for a rope. Okay, I mean, that's kind of it for the trailer. I think I'm going to grab the lights off the American truck. Just for the styling copy. Oh, we need a number plate. Got to have a number plate. Got number plates, got lights. Ooh, do I need a marker light? I'll get one just in case. The old mirror and truck. And then you put this back over there. Cut that. Boop, boop. Okay, how am I going to do lights? On the back of this I don't want it to like hang down so what I might do is do I need these rope anchors or do I just go bop, 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 bop. I feel like the lights should come all the way out though you know like that they should be way out on the edge What can go on there? I need to put the number plate. Number plate can go in the middle. If I do this, it should be okay. The The track will just connect one piece over. Should I bring the, the signals in a bit more? I feel like they should be all the way out, though. What goes in here, though? What goes there? Probably a rope anchor, I guess. Yep, that'd do it. That'd do it. Nope, like that. Should I paint this black or do I pick a nice color? I think this middle piece here needs to be gray. Probably the whole like main body needs to be gray. Oh, let's just do it gray. Let's just replace everything that's white with gray. And then repaint the wheels. Okay, now pipes. I need some pipes. It's kind of weird that this is so much wider there at the back. Do I want to do anything about that? Because I could put rope anchors in here and that might look kind of neat. What if I do it like this? Get rid of that one. It's real chonk now, isn't it? I kind of like this one though sticking out, so I guess they should all be like that. I hate this very sharp edge, it's just not good. Oh yeah, okay, that's cool, I like that. Doing that, I'm going to do that everywhere now. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do it here as well. Wait, what am I doing? It's, it's like this. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's more styly. I like that. I'm happy about that. Okay, and now pipes. So 
between here it should be nine blocks and then between this one should be nine as well yep and then this one is nine 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 so what i want to do is get a part a pp we'll put a pipe here i'm just going to copy and paste the pipe so pipes are pretty friendly for xml editing so i've got the rib trailer bush and i'm looking for a trans i think trans straight there should be two trans straights yep okay so all the pipes are called trans for some reason i don't know see how they've got no r values on them so i'm gonna have to yoink these and see if that does anything It'll probably like spin it around in some stupid orientation. Yep, which it's done. So I'm gonna cut, rotate, paste, save. You don't see any of this. Okay, and we're back. Find the trans, trans, oh, it's got rid of it again. I'm gonna change it to nine and see if it, so here's my pipe, which I can, you can put like a block on and that will let you merge the pipe back in because usually you can't just merge the pipes back in so we're going to do this boop, 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 boop. and then you get rid of that one and now i've got a big old pipe and same through here same through there i wonder if that's too far to the outside do I need to bring those pipes in a bit? Let's have a look. I think where the wheels are, it definitely needs to come in. I think it makes sense though, that there's like a support structure out there. So you find the pipe, which is in the very center, you place a block on the pipe, then you cut to the block and the one piece of pipe. I don't mind that it goes into the speakers here, that's not really an issue. And then you need to build off the block. Uh, what's happened? It's had a stroke. Okay, so now we've got these pipes kind of acting as support structures. I want a pipe up here and I want it to like bend in so I don't know how I'm going to get this one the trick when you're dealing with like multiple pipes is paint one of them yellow like this yellow is a real easy hex color to find so yellow starts with like if if e e this one here if if e 727 trans straight that is the yellow pipe so what I want to do is make it kind of wonky um, I've made it wonky in the wrong direction. Hold on. This is going to be a bit of trial and error. I think the pipe's too long, so I'm going to shorten it as well. Okay, have a look at that. Is that the right pipe? Is that your pipe? So I can still attach a block to it because it's still technically a straight pipe. Um, That's not really where I want it. I want it like this, but then more angled. And to get that, I'm going to have to make it shorter as well, I think. Merge it back in, even though it doesn't really matter. I think I need to make it four wide and probably six long. I'm just kind of guessing. See, now it lines up on the outside, but it's going to be too far across. So I think two wide then. Yeah, now it's in the right place. But, oh, it's done me dirty here. I would have to put in a block like that. Is that the end of the world? Do I do this? That's disgusting. God damn you, you stupid pipe. See, I want to get this lined up with the edge here. I mean, that's right. That is right. No, it's not right. It's wrong. This is wrong. It will cut through onto the other side. Oh, what about that? That looks kind of cool. And then if I do... Hmm. 
That's six. What if I make it seven? Now it's touching there. And then... Yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do. I can put another wedge in here if I wanted to. I think that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to place another block here. Now, you might not even be able to copy this, right? Yeah, see, I'm pushing U and it's not flipping. None of these other buttons really want to flip it. You can kind of... Yeah, so I flipped it a bunch of different ways. And then that's let it go back in sort of in the right direction. And now I can just come along and replace all the yellow with the grey, except I want to paint that pipe that colour. Ha-ha! And now from here I can connect my brake lights, which are the middle ones. The right indicator will be this one. The left indicator is that one. And the reverse lights are those ones. And we need to connect the electricity down to all of them. Oh, I need a brake override. That's probably one of the more important things here. You don't want to just brake override when it's not connected because then you can't move it. This is all the lights, so that's not the right one. This one here is a bunch of crap in it as well. We've got parking brake, brake lights. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Actually, that was probably what I needed. What you want to do here, we've got truck comp in. And I want a composite input, and this is going to be brake override. And this is going to go channel one or parking brake from the truck will activate the parking brake. And then we can add another instrument panel. Kind of sad that I need to keep adding instrument panels, but it's not an instrument panel. <laughs> there you go. Flip switch, flip, flip, flip switch, brake override, none, none, uh, none, was there more space on that controller? Mm, I would need two out, one input, one out, no, okay, this will, this will do, this will do. So we've got an out signal coming into brake override. I kind of don't like this, but I do kind of like it. What can I put here that looks neat? Just a block and then, and then goes back? Or what if it goes like that? You know, what if it goes like that? What if it's just this and goes like that? Ah, oh, that's stupid. What kind of blocks have I got for decorations? Okay, well, you know what? I'm getting super carried away with this. Rib trailer. I need to load in the rib, and now I need to load in the trailer below it so I can figure out where all the pieces go. That's probably where it's going to end up. No, it's going to end up like this, isn't it? Because I bet that... um. I bet that friction pad's not going to like going into that wedge, so it's going to end up here. The good thing is I haven't put too much crap down in here, so I can just cut these grippers, move them along, and then get a hard point, chuck it in here somewhere, and actually it will fit. Yuck, it won't fit. Okay, so that second point is where I need to connect to. I'm thinking I should use a paint block for this and then I can draw a picture of what I need to connect to. But maybe I just need to use a different color and then my grippers need to be further back because they can't overlap into the top part of there. I'm gonna brush these bits gray, I'm gonna brush that orange. So this piece here, I wanna brush a different color I don't want it to be red, but I want it to be like an obvious color. 
Oh no, this is the first paintable sign. Wait, um, it doesn't need to be a block. Or like, it doesn't need to be a block block. It can be like a track. Okay, that's good. Then you can see the little teeth from the hard point. Actually, they could be like yellow or something. Can I paint this? How can I paint this? What's going on? Like that. There you go. So that'll be real easy to see, but it's not like gross and sticking out like all this crap in here. Yep. Save that. That is the new rib. And then I need a controller to input to receive the signal and then process it and send it back to the hard point, which is kind of a pain. But of a pain that I have to do this. And I don't even know if this works. Boat release. Hard uh, rib trailer. Release. God damn, this is taking forever. Uh, I need to connect this because if I don't connect it, release. I have no idea if that works or not. So my ribs should be fine, my trailer should be fine, and the truck should be fine. So if I load in the old rib trailer, I need to keep active on something. Um, I don't want things to disappear as I do this, so... We're going to load that. Well, that's going to have a keep active, and then I need a keep active to go in here somewhere, which I'll put uh, there. And that'll stop all this from despawning. Rib trailer. I'm going to line it up so that it falls directly onto the hard point when it spawns. Ching ching. And let's see if it disconnects or not. Wait, why is it in there? Did it disconnect? I'm gonna get rid of that friction pad that's just in the way. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. This one. But it doesn't release it anyway, so... The signal comes down to uh, the hard point. Data send which should then send up to this, receive. It should receive the signal, and the signal should be to release. The brake, enable the gripper's brake. So the brakes are off by default. Release boat is on channel two. If I push channel one, will it release? Yes, okay. Thank God. Thank God. I need to change this channel to two. Update. Okay, there we go. Spawn. Hard point connected. Everything's connected. Okay, so now this is present me. I needed to get rid of that friction pad from the um, trailer frame. And... I want to see if I can get these barrels invisible these are uh, actually because the hitbox isn't really an issue i could maybe even go with these bigger ones if i needed to right so it's barrel pipe barrel let's start off with the 40 mass barrels because actually wait these big ones these ones maybe can i turn these invisible this would be the best solution. So if I go into VS Code, rib trailer. So I'm not sure what these are called, probably just something barrel. We've got four barrels. Um, where are the other barrels? The two barrels are the axles, which might be these M barrels, medium barrel, I would think. And then, yep, XL barrel. So let's try and change a bunch of these to zeros. We'll reload. 
And is it still there? Oh, it's completely gone. Okay, what about leaving one of them as a number? No, still gone. So you might not be able to make these invisible, which kind of sucks. I'm just going to have to go through and change each of the ones and see how much it affects the model. I think it, it looks like just getting rid of any of the ones completely removes the barrel. I just need to add weight, you know, so let's try weight blocks instead because I can probably make weight blocks invisible. I'll just do one for now. Um, save that. Go back to VS. We need to probably reload it. Weight block zero. Zero, zero. Yes, that works. So, plan is then to fill up all the slots through here with weight blocks just to increase the weight and then also to limit where you can walk through because I don't want you necessarily being able to walk where that pipe actually is. So it's like that. Then I can still put in some decorative piece through here and then all these weight blocks can become invisible. So now is the hard part of finding all the weight blocks and there's 46 of them. So let's save that and have a look. Yeah, so now I can't place any blocks where those pipes are, which is good. You won't be able to walk through the pipe. And then it'll also mean that it's a bit heavier. I should have checked the mass before. But anyway, let's sort this pivot out. We can just open the same file or use the same file. We've got multi-compact pivot B. We need to find the pivot head. So I think I can just search for... Oh, we've got robotic A. Multi-compact... B. Oh, I thought it had its own piece, its own name. What I'm going to do is paint the bit I want to make invisible with one face yellow. And then I can search for F, F, E. So that's the, the what it does here with SC. I'm not sure what SC stands for, but these are all, it might be side color or something like that. So this is, this FFE727 is one face of the pivot that has a yellow side. So if I change these values to zero, that will hide that face. So this yellow face is how I identified that block and then load it. Hopefully that's just gone. So we've got trailer leg. It all works as expected. I want to get something going in here that looks nice. So we've got to find a block or a part that has some kind of interesting decorative element to it and try not to pick something expensive. I think I'm going to settle with that. It looks sort of the most normal or the most expected. The way that the pipes connect into the angle, I think is expected. It's not like if you use a real steep one, then it looks like it's jutting out on a strange angle. If you use the 45, the one by one wedge, it looks a lot closer to it lining up with two flat edges, like the flat edge of the pipe hitting the flat edge of the 45 cutoff. So there's my trailer. Um, let's see how heavy it is. What happens to the wheels? They're not going through the floor so much, but they're still going through the floor. The other thing, every block that's not a weight block can become a weight block. So these... 
I don't think that's the end of the world, you know. Um, that one's a rope block. And they're all paint, paintable indicators. So now the mass is just under a thousand. Can get rid of a couple up the front there. Now we're up to over a thousand. And any of my trucks, any of the HTLI trucks will be able to connect to this. Oh my goodness. It's still in the ground a little bit, but it's not too bad. Oh, what it's doing. This truck is a bad example for this because all that smoke coming off the rear wheels, those rear wheels get lifted up and then have a brake applied to them so they don't spin. But that means when there's too much weight on the back of the truck because the wheels only go down when it's connected to the fifth wheel and not the trailer because there's not supposed to be any load on it like this. The kind of trailer that it should be pulling has an axle at the front and so there would be no load on that very rear axle. But I think the trailer is doing good. That's the main thing here. It's barely clipping into the ground and if we look at these wheels, uh, they're definitely not in the ground. So I think we just have to live with some clipping. Unless there's a good way someone knows how to make a barrel disappear. Because I don't think using weight blocks is going to help. I can't put too many weight blocks on. Um, it looks pretty stable though. Eh? It's pretty good. It's not rolling or flipping over. I bet if I get a truck that's not got its wheels jammed on brakes. Then I might be able to get it to flip. Let's get the GT2. Because I think this is the fastest truck. Because it's the smallest. Let's try flip it. Yeah, that's really good actually. Having all those weight blocks in the very base of the trailer means that all the mass is down so low. And I think the boat has a similar kind of situation. The, the mass is really low in it. So yeah, that's the completed rib trailer. Hope you found it interesting. Anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.